What is good fam? It is your boy I am and this is I am Sneakers. In today's episode, we will check how dope these bad boys are. If you haven't yet already or if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when I drop a new video. And you can also find me outside YouTube on Facebook and Instagram. All my social links will be included in the description box. And please do me a favor by smashing that like button because it helps the channel to grow. And with all that being said, let's get to the real thing. Before we go to the unboxing, I will just give you the brief history of this release or of this pair so that we understand every detail of the shoe. And according to Hypebeast.com, in 1996, Michael Jordan jetted off to Asia and paid his first visit to Japan with Nike to participate in the brand's Nike Hoop Heroes event. One core memory from that initiative with that MJ played one-on-one -on -one with a young boy that was rocking a UNC uniform. And so this upcoming Air Jordan 1 Low SE Tokyo Vintage installment is inspired by that moment or by this moment. During on the court or during the on-court matchup, the 6'6 guard was rocking a pair of Air Jordan 12s that were equipped with lizard skin. And so this element is translated on the swooshes of this new AJ1. And that's the brief history of this pair. And it is nice to know the story behind every release or every shoe because it adds value to the shoe. This pair has no definite release date, but it came out recently here in the Philippines last April 1, Saturday, in a retail price of 120 US dollars, and that is 6,195 in Philippine peso. And with that said, let's start the unboxing. So the pair comes in a typical black Jordan box with Air Jordan Wings logo at the top lid of the box in glossy finish and on all sides. And on this side, you have the uh, size tag sticker or box label. And it says here, Air Jordan 1 Low SE. And SE stands for Special Edition. And the official colorway is Dutch Blue Smoke Gray Sail. So let's open the box. Upon opening the box, it comes with a typical wax or tissue paper. And here is the shoe. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low Tokyo 96. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great nice. I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that pay I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all To appreciate how good they are, how dope they are, let's take a closer look it's been 25 years since MJ first visited Tokyo. And to honor that history, this special AJ1 takes you back to the beginning with the colorway inspired by Hoop Hero Store merch. Dutch blue graces the outsole and toe, smoke gray covers the upper and heel, while pops of kumquat accent the wings logo and insole. Age touches on the midsole and an exposed foam tongue add a perfectly worn in look. Starting on the front panel of the shoes, Dutch blue or UNC blue toe cup or mod guard in tumbled leather, suede toe cup in seal with perforations for breathability. The quality of the leather and suede is decent. It is not the best quality but it is not bad. Seal or light cream default flat laces, there are no extra laces included in the package. Nylon tongue, which has an exposed foam in cream color and white tag with air and Jampman logo in yellow. Going to the lateral and medial sides, 
gray eye stay panel on the upper part and UNC blue on the lower part. Lizard skin swoosh in gray and suede quarter panel in sale. Cream vintage rubber midsole with yellow stitching. Looking at the back panel of the shoes, gray tumbled leather with embroidered wings logo in yellow. White insole with Jetman logo in yellow. Surprisingly, the sock liner is in soft leather material which makes it more premium and a cool detail in my opinion. Then a usual rubber outsole of Jordan 1 in UNC or Dutch blue. As far as sizing is concerned, these are like the other Jordan 1 lows. They fit through to size, but if you are wide-footed, consider going half size or full size up. The usual size you get and the silhouette will be perfectly fine. Honestly, I really dig this and even more when I finally understand the story behind it. The story gives or adds value and gives explanation in every detail of the shoe and in my opinion this is one of the cleanest colorway of jordan one lows to release this year 2023 you can go wrong with that unc colorway with off-white and union vibe i just love the colorway i just love the vibe the summer vibe of this colorway i just wish they came with uh, unc blue or pink extra laces but it is what it is and yeah these are straight fire chefs Kiss. And that's pretty much all about this episode. That's how good the Air Jordan 1 Low SE Tokyo 96. Let me know your thoughts on this pair. Do you love this colorway? Did you cop one or planning to get one? Anything that you want to share, leave a comment below and let me know. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, cop what you want, rock what you love. See you on the next one. Peace. God bless. Hunger Songli. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And